Hi, I'm Charles with Atlas Business Solutions, and in this video I'm going to show you how to pinpoint coverage and availability in Visual Staff Scheduler Pro and Premiere. We'll talk about highlighters, the labor hours chart, and the scheduling assistant. Let's take a look at the highlighter tool first. Using the highlighter tool in Visual Staff Scheduler Pro, you can easily identify cells that match a certain criteria. For example, you can easily identify employees that are scheduled to work a particular shift by looking for a highlighted cell instead of scanning each row looking for instances of that shift. You can access the highlighter tool from the main toolbar by clicking the highlighter button. And then we click edit to choose a query. In this case, I'll choose the LPN day shift. And then when we apply that, You'll see that for my LPNs, all of the day shift assignments have been highlighted in yellow. So if I want to do the same thing for RNs, I'll click the highlighter button. I'll choose a different color and click edit. And I don't have an RN day shift query yet, so I'll make a new one. So to set this query up, I'll need to check by position because I I just want to look for RNs and then I don't need to do anything with skills or explanations because I just want to see RNs that are working the day shift so I just choose the position of, of RN and the day shift and you can see that all of my RNs working the day shift have now been highlighted in green. So as you can see, the highlighters make it very easy to pick out who's working a particular shift or in a certain area or even who has a certain position on the schedule. The next tool that I want to show you is the scheduling assistant, which you can access by clicking the scheduling assistant button on the main toolbar. And the scheduling assistant will show you a list of available employees sorted by position or by name, by the number of hours desired and the number of hours they've worked um, and we can also see um, we can also sort them by their hired date so you can show them in order of seniority so by default the scheduling assistant is set to list employees within the current dividers only so my cursor is currently in the LPN divider area, so it's only going to show me the employees between the LPN and RN dividers. You'll also notice that by default it's set to omit employees already scheduled, which means for the date that you have selected, it's not going to show you anybody who is already on the schedule. So the scheduling assistant will show you for one day at a time who is available for that day, and it would work particularly well if you are filling out the schedule and you need to know who do I have available that isn't already scheduled or if somebody is calling in sick and you need to find a replacement you can bring up the scheduling assistant tool and it will give you the exact list of who has not been scheduled for that day without you having to scan the schedule manually and if I want to use the scheduling assistant as a basis for assigning a shift so say I want to assign a shift for Sue Long I can click on her name and it jumps the cursor to her name and I want to put her on a night shift and then she disappears from my list. So the scheduling assistant is a very easy way to see who's available, uh, how many hours a group of people have scheduled for that particular week and how close you are to scheduling their desired number of hours. And now we've seen how the hourly coverage, the scheduling assistant, and the highlighter tools can help you pinpoint your coverage and staff availability to help you prevent overtime and prevent gaps in your coverage. I hope that was helpful. If you do have any questions, you can give us a call at 1-800-874-8801. If you're using an older version of VSS Pro and would like to upgrade, or if you have a trial version of VSS Pro and would like to order, you can place an order online at our at www.abs-usa.com or you can call our sales team at the 800 number thank you very much